Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Eastward. In the last episode, we went down into the city sewers, I'm assume, assuming, beneath the slums. Um, and uh, Sam single-handedly fought off a monster while also being interrogated by that weird energy ghost thing. So now our objective is to get to Esther City, which is where Alva has been taken by Isabel. I There's a lot going on here. I'm going to go ahead and get a hard save in. We're going to save. Very good. We need to buy supplies. So that's going to be step one, is no matter what story plot points happen, we have got to go use some of the salt. Um, and I don't even know where to start looking for an area to buy. The lab. Alva was always in there researching the miasma. Maybe there'll be some kind of clue there. Oh, as to how to get to Esther City? Is Esther City not a place that you can just go to, I guess? Apparently not. Input signal out of range. Input signal out of range. Alva, do you copy? Alva, do you copy? Signal lost. Launching auto mode. Helper bot at your service. Please enter a system name. Sonic Punk. Input complete. Name updated. New name registered. Sonic Punk. Please enter a command. Find Alva or find Isabel? Does it matter? Wouldn't they be in the same place? Searching for Alva. Not found. Last known signal, east. 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 Caution is advised for those traveling east of New Dam City. The only available route is via the main rail. According to an unverified source, the immortal Esther City sits on the eastern edge of the continent. Map data is incomplete. No further information available. All right, let's look for Isabel. Searching for Isabel. Not found. Last known signal. East, east, east. Okay, so we got all this. Got it. All right, so we gotta go east on the main rail. All righty. Don't know how we're gonna make that work. I guess we could talk with Mung, maybe? Alright, does it show, like, a shop on the map or something? Also, the music is really pretty. It's sad, but it's pretty. Alright, so, you, oh, the main rail. Right, the where we came from. I kind of want to go back down to the Dragon Market and t try one more time. Even though I have a feeling I know that it's not going to work. We might not even be able to get down there anymore. I don't know. Oh. You've just got to let us back in, Pops. Pops. Pops? You okay there, Pops? You too. Back to work, now. We won't let you down again. We, we... Wait. Back to work? Pops has forgiven us. You really mean it, Pops? What are you doing standing there all slack-jawed and lily-livered? I said get back to work, you ingrates. Yes, sir. Interesting. That's very interesting. What's up with you, Mung? I must be getting old. Back in my prime, I'd have chewed those too raw for thinking they could in and out old Mung. 
Well, if it isn't John, I really owe you for last night. What's that? You're off to, to Esther City. You know what they say about Esther City. I heard it from my old man. Those in Esther City never grow old. They can't get sick. They can't die. But to reach it, you gotta go through some near impenetrable fog. And like through some kind of space-time thingamabob. Anywho, it's all a little beyond me. What I do know, though, is that you're gonna have to follow the main rail. Isabel, she's got a rocket, so she's fine. But you guys? Wait a tick. Those two at Tayamas. Heard tell they got themselves a train. Though they're a little, um... Well, let's just say their reputation precedes them. I don't know who that is. What an anarchic dishevelment. Why, this could take us the entire day to clean up. Is it back unlocked? Oh, wait. We already got this shrine up here. Yeah. Was there always a Jizo statue here? I swear, I don't remember that being here before. If we could get the last one, that would be so cool. If the game was feeling magnanimous. Is the area back to normal so we can actually interact with stuff down here? Nope. Still no. Also, what's with the... Treasure chest nonsense. I don't understand that. Oh. Oh, okay. I think we must have missed our shot on that. Which is, you know... It's whatever. I'm mad, but... There's nothing I can do about it now. Store is a bit empty because of the miasma, but there may be something you can still use. Uh, octopus. That. I feel like there was a recipe that uh, now I can't remember that involved octopus. Can't even remember how many episodes ago it was. But there was some recipe. We have enough to just buy all this. No. There's gotta be other shops we can go into to buy supplies. Wanted, dead or alive, our brave and valiant knight has not only abandoned us, now she's run off with our beloved princess. It's true. Our, ra our rage must be heard. This is unforgivable. Simply unforgivable. That's definitely not his, his voice from last time, but it's been too long. Far too long. This looks like a shop. The friendly spendy at your service. Backpack expansion. We're going to do that. Yep, totally. Should have done that way earlier, but say la vie. Let's buy bubble tea. All right, let's just buy supplies. Tomato. We have so much, like, salt, it's not even funny. We can easily just buy this guy's stock. Wait, was that backpack thing open again? Hold on. Can we buy another one of those? Oh, heck yeah. Absolutely. We have so much salt, we might as well use it. You got another one? I mean, how many times can we do this? All right, now he's sold out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. We're out.
Okay, we went there. We can go back up to Lightning Max, I guess. I don't think they have any food or anything. Now we can get one of those drinks. It's your deal. I don't got a penny to my name anymore. Oh, cheery. Lightning Max. Oh, right, it's up here. Sweet Lightning. We'll buy one of those, why not? Support local business. Um, we should probably just get a move on then. It's a bummer we have to leave, but like... Yeah, we gotta go. I love how they change the, uh aspect ratio of the pixels for like these longer shots can we even walk over here no we can't all right back to the main rails oh you look fun uh let's save yep let's save all right i'm assuming we need to talk to you Having said that, a train did arrive heading east a few days ago, but I'm afraid it's already left. When's the next train, then? I'm afraid. I can't say it for sure. It could be tomorrow, or it could be next year. If only... Yes, if only there were another way to ride the rails. Come to think of it, I may have spied such a vehicle lately. Who are we supposed to talk to? We were supposed to talk to somebody after talking to Mung. But I don't remember. He said Tayama? Who's Tayama? I don't remember. That's the problem. It was probably a character we met a long time ago. Is it like the mayor looking character that we never talked to? I don't know. Let's check the casino because that's where a lot of characters are. It's weird that our objective marker... Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. When do you think this rain's gonna let up, huh? I hate it. We can't do anything when it just keeps raining like this. Darn, only one of those play Earthborn. Can't you just bring the machine inside, Mrs. Tayama? Oh, you young whippersnappers. If Granny tried to lift that machine, her old bones would break faster than sticks in a wood chipper. If you want to play it so bad, buy the machine and haul it off yourselves. Think we'd be here if we had that kind of money? This stinking rain will never let up. Oh, hey, it's Sam. We heard the princess ran away. Is that true, Sam? As if. The princess is an upstanding gent. It was Isabel. She took Alva and left for Esther City. Esther City? You mean that Esther City? The one and only. I thought that was just an old fairy tale. Yeah, but if that's where Isabel's headed, doesn't that mean it's real? It is real. Huh? Mrs. Tayama? Do you know any something about Esther City? Do you know how to get there, huh? Ha! And how would Granny know something like that? What I do know, though, is that it exists. The princess's grandfather, you see. He came from there. Alva's grandpa is from Esther City? Okay. Well, don't mind us. We're just gonna sneak around without permission. Oh. Is everything ready? Everything's packed and ready on the train. Then the time has finally come. This city has been good to us. I'll remember it fondly. But maybe we should wait a few more to today's. Absolutely not. 
my calculations are correct, they should be arriving any second now. Sam, are you all right? Daniel, you're doing this young lady a disgrace. Now, you two need something, yes? Esther City, is it? Interesting. A remarkable place, really. Though I'm afraid the fare won't be cheap. But I thought we were already... Since the first time I saw the both of you, I couldn't help but think fate a truly peculiar thing. Even now, it just so happens that we too are headed eastward. Certainly, having a strapping, indefatigable, indefatigable man such as yourself aboard would be in our best interest, as would complimentary passage be in yours. What say ye? You scratch our backs, we scratch yours. Let me know once you've made up your mind. Ready to set off, young vagabonds? Yeah, let's go. Superb. Let us meet up at the station, then. Just take us there. Don't make us walk all the way back up. Alright, there we go. Oh, never mind. We are going to have to walk back. These poor people just keep getting displaced. They just can't stay anywhere for very long. Music is so good. Oh. John. You guys. You're blowing this popsicle stand then, are you? No need for the long face. We've all come to see you off. John. We really owe you guys for yesterday. Ain't that the truth. They'd be at the bottom of some big <laughs> stomach if it weren't for you guys. And you've done so much for our troop, too. We can't thank you enough. Thank you. Sam, Jackson's got something to say to you. Hey, why me? Didn't we say we'd say it together? He's just too scared to say it because it's too mushy and everyone will laugh. So, uh... Sam and, uh, Mr. Stash. What I want to say is, it's... Y you guys are our heroes. S s say something! Jackson's basically been heartbroken since he heard you were leaving. You've just got to come back. And when you do, we'll play Earthborn again. John! So it's finally that time, is it? The faded farewell. I put a lot of thought into it, you see. And I believe I should stay here. This is where I belong. Hmm? Where'd the Beetle Queen go? She was here just a second ago. Your Highness. If you would. The road to the east is plagued with danger. Not even our troop dares travel that ill-fated path. 
Legend has it the land is covered with an impenetrable fog. You must be careful. Safety first. Take this. Perhaps it will prove to be of some use. You guys, thank you. That's nice. Extra heart, that's nice. Ah, the sun's come out. At least we're leaving on a nicer note than how sad it was last episode. You leave and then. It's the city. My grandpa spoke of it once. A frozen city along the eastern edge of the world. With a soaring tower reaching towards the sky. This won't be an easy trip. That much I can tell you. It's still time to change your mind. No way. We're not giving up. You two. There's something about you two. You've got a kind of strength I can't even dream of. Yes, it's like they say. Even the coldest crapshooter can still turn the tables and hit it big in the end. Okay, guess that's good. Let's hard save again for no particular reason. Yep, let's save the old memories. And... In we go. Oh, you. You folks leaving? What a coincidence. I'm leaving too. I thought I'd paint one last scene before heading back. You folks have a nice trip now, you hear? John! Feast your eyes on this steed of iron. Our ride, as it were. The Iron Carbine. With frame of wrought iron and the sheer propulsive force of a hundred virile stallions. It represents the ultimate in ve vehicular transportation. And boasts a stellar chauffeur, if I may add. I'm not sure if stellar is the right word. Shall we hit the road, as they say? We have quite the trip ahead of us. And many, many, many hours of pleasant conversation. So this is the personal train car that was in the intro. So we don't have a confirmed death of Alva. We know that Isabel took Alva's body with her. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty now. New Dam City was really nice. It was a fun area, for sure. The dam stands above the water, shining and still, the same as it did when we arrived, and it'll still be there when we leave. Throughout the streets, black dots wriggle, like ants repairing their nest after the rain. A few familiar faces are now missing from the crowds of people, and the faces of those left behind are numb and devoid of emotion. Maybe if we didn't leave, we'd be amongst them, too. Maybe if they didn't leave, they'd be amongst them, too. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, the interior is so nice. Marvelous weather today, isn't it? Seems we chose the right day for departure. Turn that frown upside down, milady. There's nothing to worry about. If you wear your nerves so thin already, why, you'll run out of nerves to wear before we even reach Esther City. Have you ever been to Esther City, William? Alas, no. We're as in the dark about the good city as you are. But if the legends are correct, then so long as we continue eastward along the main line, we'll reach it sure as silver. Ah, we've already lost sight of New Dam City. Daniel, 
Level off here. Yes, sir. Not to be stingy, of course. We simply don't want to run out of fuel. Getting stuck in the middle of who knows where isn't normally my cup of tea. Something tells me we're going to get stranded in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that is so beautiful. The visuals in this game are so nice. Ah, oh, gorgeous. I must say, John, I don't remember you having a daughter. See, he remembers him. Don't tell me. That school teacher? No? Then, Catherine, was it? She did seem to have some interest in you. And yet, somehow... Ah, never mind. There's no need to explain anything to me. Adults like us have our reasons for everything. Yes, reasons for everything. Daniel, is he? How is he? Is that so? He's always been a strong-willed boy. If only he hadn't been my son. Yes, then he certainly would have had it a lot easier. Yeah. That's what we, we... We knew that. We figured that out a while ago. But nice to get confirmation. Hey, what's that? Outside, John. There's some kind of giant mushroom outside. Mushroom. Ooh. This place looks somewhat infected. My, my, that is quite the substantial shroom. A mushroom of this size, why? You haven't seen anything like that before, have you, William? would bring in no small lump of change in New Dam City, that's for sure. There's some fog gathering up ahead. Should I reduce the speed? Interesting. Very well. Safety first, as they say. Oh, that's so cool. The imagery in this game is so good. So what's that behind us? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Oh, dear. Faster, Daniel, if you would. There's another train chasing us. Increasing the speed. All right, so what do these two clowns do, and who's chasing us? It's going so fast. It's going to hit us. Not good, not good, not good. Faster, Daniel. Can't you push this any harder? We've already reached max speed. We're going to crash. So, who and why? Oh. Uh, are we still alive? But what just happened? That train. That was the iron carbine. It looked exactly the same. You must be mistaken, my dear. I created the iron carbine myself. You'll not find another train like it in all the world. But I saw it. Did you see it, John? Huh? There's something weird with the fuel tank. Almost like, like the fuel we just used came back. What on earth do you mean by that came back? But that's just what I mean. Almost like we didn't use any for fuel after seeing that mushroom. Or more like, like we haven't moved at all. 
And how, pray tell, could that be even remotely possible? Even a cursory glance outside would tell you we're currently making good time down the main rail. To go this fast without using any fuel, why, we'd be the world's next billionaires. Hmm. Some sort of weird time travel thing? That's weird. I swear we've already gone by this place. All right now, my vertically challenged little friends. Let me entertain you for just one moment. If all that you're saying is truly the case, then we should be approaching some fog soon, hmm? Approaching for fog. Daniel, I don't believe I remember teaching you how to lie. Wait, are you being serious? This is weird. It's there! It's there! The other iron carbine! Oh. Faster, Daniel! It's gaining on us! What is going on? <laughs> if the iron carbine is total, it's going to cost a fortune. Not to mention all the fuel costs. We're back. I've got it. The key is that other iron carbine. Things become, shall we say, weird as soon as that other iron carbine catches up with us. Which means all we need to do is go faster than it. Daniel, you're going to want to tighten your grip on the shift because when that thing appears again, you're going to push this little engine that could, that could as fast as you can push it. Yes, sir, sir. Seems like they already tried this, and it did not work. Here again. Don't tell me I'm going in circles. That fog. Even the water's gone deathly still. Oh, she's alive. Don't worry. We'll be there soon. Whoa. That's insane. I simply can't believe it. We're the real iron carbine. How is it that phony posture can go as fast as us, hmm? No, no. I mustn't let that iron rep scallion get to my head. Daniel, when the time comes, I want you to use that. The the that But it is not very, um, sustainable. Oh, Pish, you worry too much. Besides, if we're not able to pull out ahead of that speed fiend, we might be stuck here in this loop for the rest of our lives. And you two, you'd best find something to hold on to. Let's just say we're about to get going pretty fast. Ready, Daniel? High density fuel lo lo loaded. Perfect. Now, let's see if our fr friend Mr. Light makes an appearance. Here comes the fog. Prepare yourself, Daniel, and await my command. Not yet. Come on. There it is. Now, Daniel, now. Activating for fuel. Oh, boy. Good luck catching us. Can't you go any faster? It's gaining on us. I, I can't. We're already going f as fast as we could go. Any faster, and we might b b blow up. Here it comes. Blast! Are we going to be trapped here forever, then? Whoa. Oh, 
Are you okay? That's certainly smart. Is that it then? Have we failed once more? I th think we've hit something. What? Over there, look. I see something. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. Did we crash into the train? As much as I would like to continue this, hey, we'll, we'll talk to you. If the young master learns of this, he'll be piping mad. He will. Oh, he will. Dear, dear. And who are you two? We're on our way to Esther City. Except that, well, we got stopped by some weird train. Ah, you speak of the time field. The flow of time is a bit of a jumble within the fog, you see. Without the proper speed, you'll never make it through. Just like, well, Monk Hollywood. Once upon a time in Monk Hollywood. What? Monk Hollywood? Wait, then you're trapped here too? Trapped? We're all in a little... We're all a little trapped, wouldn't you say? At any rate, if you need any assistance, my children will gladly help you. You can find them in the car up ahead. You mean those guys over there? Um, well, yes, those are also my children. But I'm afraid they're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. No, my other children are further up ahead, playing. They're always finding something new and novel to play with. Okay, uh, thank you, um... Mom, feel free to call me Mom. It's what everyone does. Okay, thank you, Mom. John, doesn't she look a little bit like the robot back in Greenberg? Yeah, she does. I am so confused. Oh, just watching the TVs? Okay. All right. Eek, I say. What was that terrific explosion just now? Darn near scared the devil out of me. They're not filming an action sequence now, are they? Eek. I'm so sorry, sir. That was just us crashing violently into the side of your train. Ook, ook, ack. A great train heist. Brilliant. Eek. Clever girl, I'm the producer here. Eek. The producer? Yes, though some people still remember me as the bear. Eek. It was when that old chap came around, yes. That was when we metamorphosized into glorious filmmaking troupe extravagant. Naturally, I was elected producer. Though I've been known to stretch my acting muscles from time to time as well. Eek. What say you, girl? Do you like moving pictures? Eek. Oh, do I? Earthborn's my favorite. Ook, ook, ack. Earthborn, you say? Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Why, when I graced the stage in that film, I was but a haughty young chimp filled with delusions of grandeur. Eek. You acted in Earthborn? Who'd you play, huh? The Rocket Knight? The Hunter? The Archmage? Ho, ho, ho. Ack. But of course, there is only one role I could have played. The monkey. Eek. Wait. Then, you guys don't happen to still have the Rocket Knight's rocket here, do you? Rocket? Come to think of it, I do remember seeing something of the sort. You'd need to ask in the storage car, though. Speaking of, would a young film buff like yourself have any interest in a bit of acting of your own, eek? Acting? You mean like in a real movie? Why, of course, ack. We've been quite short of hands lately, you know. Particularly when it comes to humans of the speaking variety. Eek. At any rate, go speak to our director. Tell him I sent you. He's sure to know more about this rocket as well. Eek. Ook, ook, ack. And before you go, take this. Consider it a gift for a budding young film aficionado. Eek.
What in the world did we get? A Monk Hollywood contract. Okay, well, this is sufficiently weird, which means it's time for us to save. And I'm going to call the episode there. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.